Hey everyone, welcome back to another episode. Hope everyone is great. This episode is really, really interesting because I think I'm gonna go straight to it because we've all been there, I've been there, where you're like, you know what? I really want to increase, I really want to improve my flexibility. My 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 mobility is not that great. And I really want to improve my stretching. I really want to improve my mobility. And you know what? I'm gonna stretch every single day. And you do it, and then a week afterwards, nothing. It's like uh, we've all been. I'm just gonna have some water. But... There you go. I need that bit of water for a while. Ah, that little bit of water makes a big difference. And we've all been there, you know, where you're wanting to stretch, you're wanting to increase your mobility, and it's really it sounds exciting, and it sounds like oh, this is something I can do, and you end up just uh, neglecting it over a week. So I'm gonna give you some some tips to help you stay consistent, but also give you some tips on how to become more flexible without having the need to, I must stretch. And I'll also tell you about my journey, uh, my experience with how I didn't stretch that much and I lift, and without doing that, I still increased my flexibility and still increased my mobility, which got to my personal best with squats without using a belt and I think it's a quite a, good, a big achievement for me because I remember two years ago prior to that I was lifting just below that but I had really bad back pain I had a really bad hip pain and I was wearing a belt and my form was terrible so that's something I'm going to also mention so of course I'm, I'm just I'm hoping that everyone has done this because new year comes about and it's like yeah yeah increased flexibility and um you want to do that and then you think about a youtube video with stretching is oh this is first time that's really really good and then the week afterwards you're like yeah yeah I'll, I'll do it another time and that kind of fades away and you're struggling with that flexibility so one thing i'm going to talk about is a few things so we're going to talk about the beginning we're going to talk about um, how to increase flexibility without uh, stretching. And then, of course, yeah, stretching is good. But how can we maximize that? Because I feel like sometimes we we feel like we want to do it, but there's no real why for it. And if you understood the why behind you doing it, and if it was towards a goal, you're more likely to do it instead of, I'm just going to stretch today, I'm going to be more mobile, and great. But actually, if there's a real goal behind it, that's going to go to that's going to be the topic later so first thing is without um stretching is there's a few things one strength training if you perform full range of motion uh, whilst exercising you're stretching so much than you ex- than you you are utilizing a lot of stretching and it's going to be really helpful for your mobility and and everything so by doing full range of motion with squats by doing full range of motion with uh, like a variation of a deadlift and doing slow and maybe even if, if it's a warm-up set doing slow movement of like lunges all these things are actually uh, increasing the flexibility helping you kind of get to that range of motion all the benefits that stretching does you're doing the benefits of stretching during the workouts it's just you're not thinking oh i'm stretching here actually it's because you're doing um the workout and that'll be so incorporating strength training incorporating full range of motion that's actually really really good so try that especially maybe what um on leg days that's gonna be really helpful especially with the lower body and of course with upper body days if you do upper body days doing full range of motion with bench press and so on maybe for the, especially for the warm-up sets uh, if you are doing warm-up sets going a bit lighter and actually feeling the stretch because that's what you're doing but you're also getting workout done also with a stretch so that's really really good so strength training is a huge factor and the other factors is moving around, moving around around the house, doing basic activities. You're probably doing stretches without you even realizing you're doing stretches. <laughs> so cleaning the house, when you're cleaning the, if you're cleaning the house, if you're, if you're going shopping, all these things you're doing, oh, guess what? You're stretching. Woohoo. So do more of that, you know, and actually, oh, this is interesting. I'm going to, I'm going to pick something from the cupboards because i need to that's gonna be a good little stretch or i'm gonna pick something from something low i could squat down and so on all these things you're doing without saying okay i'm going for a five minute stretch here because you do that and then you say you do it and you don't really want to do it and it's great if you can do it but majority of times it's nothing that's very exciting unless your real goal unless you had a real passion for stretching but i don't for most people i don't think that is the case so that's regarding what you can do without stretching um another thing okay so now i'm going to talk about um 
my experience with stretching. So how I got 150 kg, uh, how I got 150 kg back squat without using a belt when two years prior to that, I was lifting probably 10, 20 kg lighter with a lot of back pain, with hip pain, using a belt and my form was terrible and how I progressed from where I was two years ago to where I am now. And yes, there was an element of stretching, but there was a there was a reason behind this. I stretched because I knew it was going to really, really help me with my goals. I didn't stretch because I want to be more mobile. I actually had a real goal for it. So the stretching goal came from my performance goal. And that's something really important when it comes to stretching and setting goals is if you're just saying, I want to stretch, I want to be more mobile because I want to have more energy. It's how really, how long term that sustainable that's going to be great for maybe a week or so, but it doesn't really happen. When I put performance goal on, I was like, hey, if I want to get this goal, I need to improve my hip um, flexibility. I need to improve the muscles around the knee. And so before my leg day, I will be doing 10, 15 minutes of just pure stretching before my squats so that my foot squat, squat performance was going to be better. Now, if I didn't have a performance goal, squat goal, most likely I would have neglected the stretches because I was to do some warm up sets and so on. And that's really, really important. So... I did that. I obviously have locked down. I did a lot of stretching. I because I knew that I wanted to progress this goal. So I was doing simple hips and stuff. And also with everything to help me with the performance goal of the squats, I focused on the basics. I went back to lifting lighter. I focused on increasing my mobility by doing that, by doing the stretches, by also going lighter and increasing my improving my form so that when I did progress, everything came together to hit my 150. So I think for anyone who wants to progress with performance goals, incorporating uh, a few stretches before the session to increase your mobility, ego, bring that ego down and lift lighter, improve your form and over time improve without the belt. And that's how I did it without the belt. I'm happy with that because the belt is really, really helpful, but I didn't need it because my form was good and around the body where I needed to squat that, the the, the, the muscles were activated during that um, squatting, my flexibility was a lot higher to where it was a few years ago. So uh, so yeah, so that's really, I'm, I'm, I'm quite proud of myself. And that's something you could kind of incorporate into your training. So yeah. If you set a goal, a performance goal, more likely you're going to be setting a strength goal. And a few tips regarding stretching. Now, yeah, well, how can you increase your mobility and how can you increase this flexibility? And I'm like, oh yeah, you can do it, but you can't do it. You can ha- you can't do it. You can do it without stretching. Well, stretching can be a big factor, you know. Of course, you don't have to stretch if you want to become more flexible, but we know stretching is going to be the most helpful thing to increase my flexibility, increase mobility, even though it's hard to always stay consistent with. But a few things I would do just to help you level up is perform more dynamic stretches instead of static stretches prior to uh, running, prior to uh, strength training. And that's basically you do movement exercises, like you would do a lunge, you would, uh, you're, you're getting the blood moving around, you're doing something, you're in that stretch, you're moving, whereas a static stretch is basically static. So you're holding the position. And when you're moving, guess what? You're moving the body. You're going to help you become more flexible. Over time, you move again and again and again. And then eventually you can get that inch difference to where you were before. If you put your foot on the ground and you are in a um, foot, foot is on the ground and your left, let's say your foot's on the ground and your left knee's on the ground and you're trying to increase your ankle mobility and you push the right foot forward and I'm mean, if it's easier on YouTube it's a bit easier to see this on YouTube on the podcast you're only hearing me um you're trying to increase your ankle mobility and you do that more and more and more over time you're going to be able to bring that knee past the toe a bit further and you do that again and again that's going to help you increase your ankle mobility and it was a big game change of that exercise that's uh, stretching and that was a dynamic stretch and so on and and that's really, really important. And another thing is, of course, stretching is really, really important. And you're like, okay, I've got to stretch the whole body. And I'll be honest, great if you want to do that. But what can you stay consistent with? Again, I folk right now, I'm now doing more upper body exercise stretches because I want to improve my stretch, uh, performance in my upper body. But when I was focusing on my lower body, I just focused on lower body stretches more because I could stay consistent with it. I had a goal getting it. Again, if I, I felt like if I did all the stretches together, I would have been a bit more demotivated. I wouldn't have been like, let's do it again and again and again. So take step by step. You don't have to bring everything together and be everything together and spend half an hour with 
all doing target every single muscle time stretch uh, each muscle because we want to stay consistent and if you can stay consistent with that thumbs up continue but for someone like me and maybe someone like you who i think actually yeah, it's, it's kind of hard to stay consistent i re- highly recommend is what you're trying to improve your performance in trying to target the stretches in that area and then once you hit that goal you can move on to another section so we're moving bit by bit and even with the strength training even with everything you're doing with dynamics and the occasional dynamic stretches to warm up the body you will be targeting everybody so uh, all body parts so you're not we're not going to neglect the chest and the shoulders if you want to stretch that because you will be doing that but that's something i that's a huge tip so hope you enjoyed this episode um if there's they if there are so much stretches on the internet out there and i don't get um i'm not intimidated overwhelmed with so many pick a few get better at these few exercises be few stretches focus on these exercises because they help your performance goal and once you've performed it once the, you're a lot more effective then you can move on to others don't try and do 10 20 stretches and become super super mobile at once because you won't be able to get mobile as once it takes time and you're looking you need to look for consistency uh, and then once you look for consistency that's when you can be a bit more advanced hope you enjoy the training and um we'll see you soon thank you very much for listening